New eToic actual test for listening. Test 8. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. She's reviewing some notes. B. She's writing a letter. C. She's reading a newspaper. D. She's looking through a book. Statement D. She's looking through a book. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer D and mark it on your answer sheet. Now part one will begin. Part one. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. Some dancers are tying their shoes. B. Rugs are spread on the floor. C. The couples are dancing. D. The people are acting on stage. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. White lines are painted on the road. B. A car is broken down at the intersection. C. Cars are crossing the intersection. D. Cars are lined up along the street. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. They are setting the table. B. They are sitting across from each other. C. They are looking out the window. D. The tables are all occupied. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. He's looking at the monitors. B. He's lifting a computer onto a desk. C. He's moving the monitor to the side. D. He's using a keyboard. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. The chain is wrapped around a post. B. A ship is docked at the harbour. C. A ship is approaching the rocks. D. The ships are sailing in the open sea. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. Some people are shaded by umbrellas. B. There are people feeding the cat. C. Children are running through the square. D. People are watching birds in the ground. Go on to the next page. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. Boxes are stacked on the cart. B. He's on his way to the market. C. He's sitting behind the counter. D. He's holding up a box. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. The man is booking a room. B. The shelves are full of books. C. The books are stacked on the floor. D. The bookstore is having a sale.
Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. People are climbing up the path. B. People are stepping over an obstacle. C. People are lining up in front of the entrance. D. People are moving in different directions. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. There are performers inside a concert hall. B. The audience has left after the orchestra's presentation. C. They are listening to the orchestra. D. The conductor is leading the group. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, Where is the meeting room? You will also hear, A. To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at 2 o'clock. The best response to the question, where is the meeting room, is choice B. It's the first room on the right. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. What time should we meet? A. Just yesterday. B. In two hours. C. I'll have the steak. Number 12. When does the office close? A. At 4.30 on Fridays. B. It's actually pretty far. C. Thanks, I bought them yesterday. Number 13. How often does the club meet? A. I've already joined that club. B. No, he doesn't come here often. C. Once a week, I think. Number 14. Let's break for coffee. A. I wish I could. B. With milk and sugar, please. C. I broke it by accident. Fifteen. Do you have to stay late tonight? A. Yes, don't be late. B. If I don't finish the project. C. Tomorrow would be better. Number sixteen. How much is the delivery fee? A. We'll pick it up. B. It will be over $20. C. Much better than yesterday. Number 17. When did you find your job? A. In the classified ads. B. About three weeks ago. C. I finished at 9.30 last night. Number 18. Can I take a message or would you like to call back? A. Just give the envelope to the receptionist. B. Just tell him Henry called. C. He'll be back around 4.30. Number 19. Could you give us a demonstration model? A. We're having a sale today. B. Sure, I'll bring one to you immediately. C. It's a really old model. Number 20. Have you sold the car yet? A. 
No, it's still available. B. Yes, all the cars have radios. C. $1,000. Number 21. Where do you want to put the new desk? A. Yes, just leave it on the desk. B. Sorry, I can't find your order. C. Put it next to the sofa, please. Number 22. Would you like your stick well done? A. Medium, actually. B. Yes, there's a lot at stake. C. No, it wasn't done well at all. Number 23. If you stay late, can you make sure you lock the door? A. Could you lend me your key then? B. I was there until 10 o'clock. C. He'll be here early to fix the door. Number 24. Did you remember to file the forms? A. Yes, I gave them to the clerk. B. Look in Miss Clark's legal file. C. Fill them out in duplicate, please. Number 25. What kind of food will they be serving? A. A salmon and pasta dish. B. The service was terrible. C. That sounds delicious. Number 26. Because the paperwork wasn't filed last month, we may have to extend the waiting period. A. He went there two weeks ago. B. That's too far away. C. For how long? Number 27. Have you been to the restaurant that opened last weekend? A. Yes, every weekend. B. Not yet. Is it good? C. It opens at 11. Number 28. Are you going out for dinner with us? A. Because I didn't have breakfast. B. We will leave right after dinner. C. Sorry, I'm waiting for a phone call. Number 29. Does this bus go to 7th and Main Street? A. No, but it stops about a block away. B. Just turn left at the next block. C. There's a good restaurant on 8th Avenue. Number 30. Are you able to meet sometime next week? A. Sometimes she eats chicken. B. It's half past ten now. C. Maybe Tuesday evening. Number 31. Can you direct me towards meeting room C? A. It's on the second floor next to the cafeteria. B. Tonight at 8. C. I can't see it from here. Number 32. Can you check the price on this? A. No, it's included in the price. B. Buy credit card. C. C. $75. Number 33. Why did Ms. Johnson call you? A. To tell me she was going to be late. B. I'll call her soon. C. Ms. Johnson will take care of it. Number 34. What's your account number? A. I don't have one at this bank. B. They exchanged phone numbers. C. No, I studied accounting.
Number 35. Last month's sales figures aren't on this report. A. Sorry, I'll paste them in and reprint it for you. B. I figure it will be next Tuesday. C. Good idea. I want to be well prepared. Number 36. Mrs. Green sent out the budget adjustments this morning in an email. A. I haven't received them. B. I'll check the projector. C. I haven't adjusted to the new system yet. Number 37. You'll be leaving on a business trip next week, won't you? A. Not until next month, actually. B. She'll be gone until next week. C. I'm sorry, our lines are busy today. Number 38. Did you make the reservations for today or tomorrow? A. This evening at 9 o'clock. B. You're in seat 21H. C. No, I didn't go. Number 39. You'll be coming to the Christmas party, won't you? A. Thanks, but I didn't get you anything. B. Actually, I have other plans. C. Merry Christmas. Number 40. I'm trying to find a reliable external hard drive for my laptop. A. Oh, yes, he's very reliable. B. No, it's quite hard, really. C. What size are you looking for? Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 to 43 refer to the following conversation Hi, Mr. Ford. This is Marie Bennett in the sales department. Would you please check for available flights to Chicago from April 3rd to the 6th? Sure, Miss Bennett. Will you be traveling alone? No, I'm going with four other employees. Five people? Okay. I'll go online and see what I can do. And I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. Number 41. What are the speakers discussing? Number 42. How many people will Ms. Bennett travel with? Number 43. What will the man do next? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, could you tell me where I can find a bank? There's a World Bank on First Street. There are also bank machines in Kmart and the pharmacy as well. Oh, really? Where is Kmart? On Commercial Street next to the library. You can get there by taking the number 5 bus at this bus stop. Okay, thanks for your help. Number 44. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 45. What does the woman ask for? Number 46. What does the man recommend the woman to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'd like to order a fresh floral arrangement, and can I have it wrapped in gold paper? Well, my designer just left for the day, and I'm getting ready to close. 
Why don't you take a look at our pre-made arrangements? They're in the refrigerator in the back of the store. That sounds like a good idea. How will I know the prices? They all have white stickers with the prices printed on them. Just look on the back of the vases and you'll see them. And please let me know if you need any help choosing an arrangement. Number 47. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number 48. What does the man say about the business? Number 49. What does the man direct the woman to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. My name is Gary Stern. I have an 11 o'clock appointment with Ms. Abington in the Human Resources Department. I'm afraid Ms. Abington isn't here. She's been in New York on business and her return flight has been delayed until 1.30. Are you here about the management position? Actually, I'm here for the job as sales representative. I see. Well, she may not get back here until late in the day, Mr. Stern. Why don't I have her call you to reschedule when she arrives at the office? Number 50. Why is Ms. Abington coming in late? Number 51. What position is the man applying for? Number 52. What is the man asked to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Gee, this office sure has changed since I worked here. Wasn't the lounge area smaller before? Yes, it is pretty crowded at lunchtime, so they included it in the expansion project. And I noticed the old electric burner is gone and has been replaced by a microwave oven. I used to like making hot lunches on that little stove. Well, there's a brand new full-size oven in the lounge on the third floor. We just have to go up one flight of stairs whenever we want to use it. Number 53. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 54. What does the man say he used to do? Number 55. Where does the woman say new equipment is located? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Kevin, how does your schedule look for next week? The owner of Dana's hair salon called, and he wants someone to install some new sinks over there. It's in the Glendale area. Sure, I can do it. How about on Wednesday? That's the only day I'm free all week. OK, I'll call the shop and let him know that you'll be there on Wednesday. Thanks, and please ask if he wants me to remove the old sinks so I should know whether or not to use the pickup truck. Number 56. Who most likely is the man? Number 57. When will the man go to Glendale? Number 58. What will the woman do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Karen. How do you like your new apartment? Well, I think it's much better than the last one, but it's not as quiet. I think I enjoy living in the suburbs more. Well, I'm sure you'll get used to it. You just, just moved in two weeks ago. At least this place is cheaper and is closer to the office. You're right about that. I guess I'll feel better once I paint the living room on Saturday. I'm looking forward to getting new furniture, too. Number 59. What does the woman say about her apartment?
Number 60. How long has the woman been living at this apartment? Number 61. What will the woman do on Saturday? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'd like some information about the house that's for sale on Murdoch Street. Sure, there will be an open house on both Saturday and Sunday, and it will be from 12 noon until 4 p.m. Will you have time to come by either of those days? Well, I'll be at my office all day on Saturday, so I won't be able to make it then. But my wife and I can come by on Sunday for sure. Great. I'm the broker who's showing the place, and I'll be there both days. When you arrive, just walk in and please sign the guest book. It will be in the front hallway on a small table. See you on Sunday. Number 62. Who is the man probably talking to? Number 63. Why is the man unable to come on Saturday? Number 64. Where can the man find the guest book? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Why do you suppose employee performance is so poor? Well, maybe it's the long hours the employees have to work. They probably feel overwhelmed, and they may not think they get paid enough for their hard work. But our salaries are comparable to other companies. You're right. Most of them are making well over minimum wage, but I guess we have to offer some incentives to get them motivated before they start quitting on us. Number 65. What are the speakers discussing? Number 66. What does the man say about salaries? Number 67. What does the woman suggest? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. We need to figure out which hotel all the visitors will stay in during the convention. Did the coordinator say how many days it is going to last? She said it will be a total of four days. It starts on Tuesday and ends on Friday. Only four days? That's not very long. Will you be speaking at any of the events? Well, Lindsay was scheduled to give a presentation in the auditorium on Wednesday, but she had to cancel. So I volunteered to take her place. She's speaking in the main hall on Thursday instead. Number 68. What do the speakers need to discuss? Number 69. How long is the event expected to last? Number 70. Where will the man be speaking? Go on to the next page. Part 4. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following report. And in today's news, improvements have been made in some hospitals. Since the Institute of Medicine released a report last year that revealed thousands of people die each year because of medical mistakes. But according to a recent nationwide study, the pace of change is so slow that the death rate has not changed much. Researchers blame the complexity of healthcare systems, a lack of leadership, and the reluctance of doctors to admit errors. Tune in tomorrow when the Secretary of Health and Human Services 
would talk more about this serious issue. This is Manny Rodriguez reporting from Washington, D.C. Number 71. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 72. According to the speaker, what happens each year? Number 73. What does the speaker recommend that listeners do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Attention, please. It is now 6 40 and the galleries will be closing in 10 minutes. The museum will close promptly at 7 p.m. Officers are on duty and will direct visitors to the exit doors. We ask all guides to gather their groups together at this time. If you are in the gift shop, please bring your purchases to the register now. The museum has elevators for the convenience of disabled persons, and staff is on hand to assist you. The museum opens every day at 10 a.m. Thank you for your patronage. Number 74. Who is the intended audience for the announcement? Number 75. What time does the facility close? Number 76. What are the listeners asked to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. If you would please follow me into the stock room, I'll show you how I want the inventory done. Start on the top shelves and work your way down. One of you checks inside each box to see how many items are left, and the other person will record the information on an inventory sheet. Which I will get for you in a minute. When you're done, please bring the inventory sheet into the front office and give it to Ms. Green, who places the merchandise orders. Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. What does the speaker say about Ms. Green? Number 79. What will the speaker probably do next? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message Hello, Mr. Broderick. This is Dana Marcus from Purchasing at the Fashion Boutique. We just received your catalogue and are very impressed with your line of merchandise. There are many clothing items we're interested in buying. If possible, I'd like to meet with you tomorrow sometime between 10 a.m. and noontime. I want to place an order and also discuss setting up a business account. Please call me back to let me know what time you're available. I'll be out of the office from 11 to 1 o'clock today. So, if I'm not here when you call, please leave a message. Thanks. Number 80. What is the purpose of this message? Number 81. Who is Dana Marcus? Number 82. When will Ms. Marcus leave her office today? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. I called this meeting to let you know that beginning September 18th, we will need volunteers for a number of different moving projects. To complete a move of this size will take long hours, but the more of us working, the shorter the time. Our goal is to have everything moved and the new office spaces assembled in two weeks. We need to be completely operational by Monday, October 8th, when our overseas partners arrive. It will be a great opportunity to show them the new layout. If you can provide assistance, please let Dawn Madison know. She'll be our staffing coordinator. Number 
What is the purpose of the tall? Number 84. What does the speaker say about the new office? Number 85. When will the overseas partners arrive? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. Please be informed that the after hours parking garage is finally completed and will be ready for use starting on Wednesday. The facility is well lighted and is equipped with security cameras. For after hours access to the new garage, all employees must obtain an ID badge for a monthly fee of $10. Please be aware that the after hours badge is not to be used for access during daytime hours because these spaces are needed for visitors during that time. It is only to be used between 5 30 p.m. and 9 a.m. Anyone who would like to obtain a badge can do so at the parking facilities office Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. Number 86. What is the main topic of this announcement? Number 87. When will the new facility open? Number 88. What are the badges needed for? Go on to the next page. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following recorded message. Welcome to Blue Skies Automated Reservation and Flight Status Information Line. If you would like to make a reservation, please press 1. To make a change to an existing reservation, press 2. To check the status of a flight, press 3. Blue Sky now offers an automatic notification system to electronically let you know if your flight is delayed or cancelled. You can receive notification, voice, or text messages that are sent directly to your mobile phone with current information on changes of flight departures, arrivals, and gate numbers. For more information, Log on to bluesky.com. Thank you for calling. Number 89. For whom was this information recorded? Number 90. Why would the caller press 2? Number 91. What kind of service does Blue Sky now offer? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. Primo Carpet Cleaning and I would like to take this time to tell you about our services. We have several different methods of cleaning that we have trained expert technicians to use. They have learned to recognize the different types of fabrics and they know how to match up the right cleaning method with the item that needs to be cleaned. We understand that your time is important to you and we do whatever it takes to be on time. That's what makes us different from the rest. Call for an appointment today and receive a free bottle of our special spot remover. Number 92. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 93. What is stated about the technicians? Number 94. What will customers receive if they call now? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following message. Hello, Fred. This is Karen Miller from Diamond Appliances. It's about 11 30. I'm calling about a shipment of lamps that went out on your truck this morning. It seems that the worker in shipping and receiving made a mistake on the delivery slip. 
She wrote down the customer's home address instead of her office address. I wanted to catch you before you go over there. The customer just called asking about the shipment. I told her it's on the way. I'd like you to take them over to her office building downtown as soon as possible. Please call me back when you get this message so I can give you the address. Thanks. Number 95. What is the main purpose of the message? Number 96. What is the problem? Number 97. What does the woman want Fred to do? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk. Hello, my name is Judy Parker. It's a pleasure to be here on Talk Radio 103 FM. I've been a fitness consultant for 25 years, and I'm here today to talk about work related stress. Workplace stress is usually caused by the combination of high demands in a job and a low amount of control over the situation, which often leads to poor performance or serious health problems. One of the best ways to reduce stress is to use your time more effectively. Simple techniques such as making checklists and delegating work can help to reduce your stress levels. Also, completing each high priority task before starting on the next one will give you a greater feeling of achievement and control of your work. Following this technique may help you feel less stressful and make it easier for you to get through the workday. Number 98. Who is Judy Parker? Number 99. What is the main topic of this talk? Number 100. What does Judy Parker suggest? This is the end of the listening test.